this is infinite zoom transition guys today i'm going to show you how to create this effect inside adobe after effect stick around and uh, here on this timeline i have two different video this is the first one and this is the second one here on the bottom okay guys so now for this first video i'm going to trim it just in this way yeah just to trim to cut or i can use Control shift plus d to trim yeah to cut my video and then i have to delete this behind one okay and then for this second one i can trim it also so i, I will need this the last one okay so yeah uh, let me find for this first video i have to find where uh, and i'm going also to cut it okay by Control shift plus d right click on it here go on time and then freeze frame this top layer footage okay so when you play you see this footage was already framed and then i can expand okay yeah depend how long you want okay and then let me come here on the beginning of this clip and then i'm going to mask this this door guys the reason why i mask this door just i just want my effect to pass through inside the door okay so you can use this watch you can use anything you can use window depend what kind of the footage you have okay so now um i am making masking okay all right so now i have got this <laughs> if it is a doll if it is a wind i don't know okay so now open this mask and then go here on add and you have to choose subtract okay and then you have to see what is behind of this door okay so now you already guys you see my second clip which is under on the top on the bottom of this layer so now i can use this mask fader to fade this mask that i have been back okay so now close this layer and then Control press d to duplicate again and then open this first layer go here on the mask and then choose here on none okay guys on the top layer is none on the second layer is subtract you have to remember that okay so now and then come back here on this second layer so now i'm going to duplicate four times okay for this layer okay so now when you're done guys you see here there is some different clips and then you have to add these 3d icon for these all clips okay so now let me choose this view tool because i'm going to arrange those clips okay so now let me click here on this third one okay and i'm going to put so first i'm going to close this layer mask okay and i'm going for this third layer i'm going to put behind yeah this layer okay guys you see here on this my first view how the frame is yes i have to try to put down okay depend what kind of my effect i'm going to use yeah that's nice okay this is my first layer my first layer which i'm which i'm putting behind okay so now click here on the next one so and i'm going to put the second layer here the next okay so now let me try to add the next layer guys you have to arrange these clips okay depend how your effect will be going on all right okay so when you're done maybe this is my last clip when you're done you, no this is this is impossible so now come back here on this first view then let me go here on the feet to a 100 yes good view so guys you see here on the bottom i have my second clip so now I just put this clip up yes okay so and right click here on this project panel and i'm going to create the camera click ok guys as a default you have to use 35 millimeters and then create another null object okay so and you have to add the 3d icon for this null object too and you have to link this camera with this null one 
all right so when you're done so now open up this new and then just go here on a position and i'm going to add a position for as default this keyframe you have to put it on the beginning of this clip so where this clip is being started and then go here on the end and you have to add the keyframe the second keyframe for adding these clips okay so now i'm going to zoom this clip i'm going to try to zoom this clip yes until when i will reach for this second clip okay so now i have to pass through here inside and this door okay so try to use this no position zoom and put it on the right place okay yes until this door will be disappeared all right guys so now as you see here the keyframe the second keyframe is already added okay so when you play you see how this clip is, and you have to extend this bottom clip okay and when you play you see how this effect is but also guys for this bottom video is not looking well so that reason why also i'm going to use position the scale in order to go with this doll okay so now click here on this bottom clip you have to add the scale at the end as default and then come back here on this beginning of this clip and then use this scale yeah use this scale and position also yeah scale and position yeah those two keyframes of position the scale will go with the same let's continue so and you have to set well these position frames and the scale frames for this bottom clip okay and then so first i have to try and let me see how it is you see this this last footage is going with my effect that's pretty so cool but there is something else which is remains at the end of this clip okay Just when I pray like this, okay. So let me unmute my masking layer. Yeah, that means the doll, okay. And this doll, I have to animate this doll, okay. So I have to visible it and then click on hit layer. And I'm going to add the keyframe for animating because it will go down automatically when this effect will be in progress okay so this door will go down in this way okay and then when i'm pray and i'm going to play you see how this effect it is yeah that's so nice yeah this is nice guys let me pray again yeah that's so pretty so and light click for this keyframe you have to easy easy just to smooth it okay and then you go here on this graph just you have to smooth in that way yes a default way okay and let me select those those frames too yeah those keyframe light click and then you have to smooth it again okay you have to make sure this graph it is in edit it is in the edit speed okay and then go down and smooth these bottom flames keyframes okay yeah you have to smooth it also and then don't forget to use this graph okay yeah in order to smooth it well 
that's so nice okay guys when you play you see how the effect it is this is very nice okay so and then come back here on this last clip and then you have to smooth this position keyframe too okay and you have to select it right click keyframe assistant easy easy though you can use f9 and then smooth this graph okay that's so nice okay yep all right so when you're done for smoothing this keyframe so now the things we're going to do you have to add all you have just it's smooth yeah all the blood the blurness yeah you have to add this icon for blood for this effect okay and then yeah let me add this one too and then when you play guys this is how the effect is looking so nice guys okay guys this is how you can create this infinite zoom transition inside adobe after effect guys if you have any question please comment down below i just want to know what you think about it like subscribe comment and share and see you in the next video peace